All right, with this beautiful Pilatari Cabernet Franc that the ambassador's given me, he vouches for it, so it must be really good. We're gonna do some excellent beef cheeks. Canadian beef cheeks. Now, it's a really tough cut, but it's full of flavor and gelatinous goodness. What I've done is I've started by searing them, searing them in a hot pan, hitting it with like a whole bottle of wine, and then we braise them down slowly till the sauce gets sticky and good. So they're here ready to go. What I'm gonna do is we're making beef bourguignon, so I'm gonna finish the sauce now. So we're going now. I've got a saute pan here and we're gonna make the garnish of the bourguignon. The garnish of the bourguignon is onion, mushroom, and bacon. For the place of the bacon, we're doing these beautiful Canadian bacon that I've cut into dice and some whole onions here. I just cut them in half, so they're gonna be nice chunky pieces of onion. And I have some mushrooms here with some thyme. So we're just gonna saute them all together and that's gonna be the finish of the garnish of the bourguignon. bacon as well so the fat from the bacon can render out nicely. When I'm, when I'm uh, sauteing or sweating things out like this, I like to put the salt at the start because the salt sort of helps bring the moisture out and flavor and layer the flavors in there. So I'll put a little bit of salt and a little crack of pepper now as well. Um, I always like to put the pepper in different stages because you get layers of flavor. Same with the salt. Now that, we're getting, now that we're getting a lovely bit of color in here, I'm gonna put some butter in to help the flavor come out. And 
and then I'm gonna put in the mushrooms. Mushroom, now that the mushrooms are in there, we get a little more salt to season. And a little more pepper. So these are almost done. So all we're gonna do now that they're done, what we're gonna do now that they're done, we're gonna check if these beef cheeks are tender, which they are, they're really soft and beautiful. So now that the beef cheeks are done, all I have to do is top these, this bourguignon with the beef, with the, with the bacon and mushroom mixture. Finish it with a little bit of with a little bit of uh, freshly sliced parsley, and that is ready to eat. All right, so we've got this beautiful beef bourguignon ready, and I served it with some beautifully freshly cooked rice pilaf. Okay, classic dish. Fantastic Canadian ingredients. I'm sure the ambassador is going to enjoy this.